Is this what did he did he crash his car? <laughs> did he crash the TRX? No fucking way. This is no really the way. fight in the kid. He break that car already. No All way. All right, Rachel. Let's Go. do this, man. Do yeah, I gotta get back to the shop, man. What do you mean? No my way. hands smell like. You smell that? You're always in the like shop oil. now. I know, dude. Yeah, all right, I get it, so, dude. Uh, I got my own shop. What, what is that? Is that like a is that is that a car snapback? He's so cringe, man. So I go pull up my trousers. He's so fucking cringe. Come on, bro. Huh? He wasn't wearing. Now he's not wearing fucking jerseys anymore, right? Now no more fucking jerseys. Where the jerseys gone? Where the fucking jerseys? Now all of a sudden he's wearing fucking car garage merch. So cringe, bro. So cringe. Stop now, dude. Yeah, you got a little wound on your arm too. Well, it looks yeah. like it's infected. It, it, that wound looks like it's. You know what it's doing? Does it's it is seeping. Vibrant, dramatic. It's seeping. It that wound seeping. is what seeping, the? and Sanaz's mouth just opened. Yeah, it's still really? open right now. I can't see it. That looks like it's yeah, seeping. No, it's, that it doesn't look good. Yeah. Oh. Did you have a car crash? <laughs> All those, did he finally pay the price for getting behind the wheel drunk? Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were joking. Really? You, you look like you're about to get gangrene. We're gonna have to lop it off right at the old, right at the old short sleeve. We're gonna give you a short I sleeve. I come on Monday. I'm like, what's up, yep. everybody? Yep. Brian yep. was right, and that's when you get it. You lose it I up got to gangrene here. Gangrene in my arm. Uh huh. Not good. Not fun. Well, that's now, what happens when you now. Since crash you're talking the about the shop. Sorry, 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 Jeremy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The audio is too high. I apologize. Let me lower it here. It's not me. It's the fucking video. I promise you, it's not me. I did not. Yeah, it's not me. It's not me. I got. I put it. I put it down. I put it down. Apologies. Apologies. Let me put it down. Don't you love his short sleeve hoodie? As let's, let's not talk. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Let's not. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Because if I talk about that, I have to talk about. I, I got to talk about the the fucking sweatpants with the elastic at the bottom. Let's not. Let's not talk about the short. Let's not. Let's not talk about that. And and from what I can tell, it's not even the short sleeve hoodie. It's a sleeveless hoodie too that he put a t-shirt underneath. Let's not, let's not, let's not go, let's not go that way. Let's not talk about this or I'm going to pop a fucking blood vessel. It's not even a short sleeve hoodie. It's a fucking sleeveless hoodie and he's wearing a black t-shirt underneath it. Who does that? Are you fucking 10 years old? Are you 10? Are you a child? Are you baby? Who wears a sleeveless hoodie? You know what you're doing, Austin. You know what you're doing. You're, 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 making, me, you're, you're making me angry. <laughs> ah! Anyway, let's go back again. Let's go back. Let's go back. It's an LA thing. No, it's a fucking lame thing, Game Breed. It's a lame thing. It's not an LA thing. It's a fucking lame thing, okay? It's a lame thing. Hoodie's not meant to be sleeveless. If you want a sleeveless hoodie, guess what? Buy a t-shirt. Buy a t-shirt. There's plenty of items that don't have sleeves on them. Buy a fucking vest. Fuck. Anyway, back. Let's go. This is really the fight in the kid. Come on, baby. All right. Hey, Rachel. Let's do this, man. Let's do it. Yeah, I gotta get back to the shop, man. What do you mean? It's my hands smell like. You smell that? You're always it in the like shop oil. now. I know, dude. Yeah, all right, I get it, so, dude. Uh, I got my own shop now, dude. Yeah, it's you it. got a little wound on your arm too. Well, it looks yeah. like it's infected. It, it, that wound looks like it's. You know what it's doing? Does it's it is seeping. vibrant, dramatic? It's seeping. It that is wound seeping. is seeping, the... and Sanaz's mouth just opened. Yeah, it's still really? open right now. I can't see it. That looks like it's yeah, seeping. No, it's, that. That's... He's probably loving all this, though, isn't it? He's probably loving all this. To be fair to him, he's probably loving all this because his life was probably. That's the thing we discount. As much as it's fun to love at Brendan, he was probably super lonely, in it? He was probably super lonely when Rogan left. He had no friends, nothing to do, loads of free time. He fucking hates his family. His wife, like, you know, I know some of you guys in the stream chat think his wife is hot, but apart from looking good, I, don't, I couldn't imagine, you know, she's much of a good hang, you know? So you have to stay at home with your kids. Your wife is a little bit, you know, what she is. Rogan's not there. You've been kind of counseled by your comedy friends. Brian Callen got accused of rape. Chris D'Elia's having whatever episode he's having. I don't, I don't blame him for going in this hard with the cars and leaning it. Because he's probably loving this whole thing. I crashed my car. Now this is another part of the story. Another part of the saga. Another arc. Do you know what I mean? Like, he was probably like, I wouldn't be surprised, right? He probably could never have it because he doesn't really have the emotional range. He doesn't have the fucking depth of a soul for it to happen. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was actually depressed. It wouldn't surprise me if Brendan was literally depressed. Like actually, like re legitimately, 
legitimately depressed when Rogan left. Because imagine, Rogan left Oz L LA and then Rogan wouldn't invite him to the comedy mothership. Imagine how that's got to hurt, right? Your best friend in comedy, the one that encourages you to do comedy, the one that made you stop doing fucking, you know, MMA to pursue comedy because he was worried for you. Now, you know, kind of gave you your kick, kind of gave you your platform, basically, supercharged your platform, gave you all these opportunities to perform at fucking comedy clubs. Then he opens a new comedy club in Austin and then refuses to fucking let you play there. You're totally alone now. And now he doesn't play at the comedy store anymore. You hardly hear you hardly hear Brendan mention the comedy store. He doesn't really play there. He doesn't really mention the Laugh Factory anymore. So all these places that Rogan's friendship got him into, suddenly the doors are closing. It's no surprise that he's leaning so hard into this car thing because it probably has given him a will to live. Sad to say, but it's probably given him the will to live. It's got him outside of his house. It's a new interest, you know? Your big up AR. Um, at in right now it is 3 p.m. Now, right now it's 10 past three. It's now 3.010. 10 past three over here. So big up AR. Let's share the clip. Look yeah. Uh oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you were joking. Really? You, you look like you're about to get gangrene. We're gonna have to lop it off right at the old, right at the old short sleeve. We're gonna give you a short I sleeve. I come on Monday. I'm like, what's up, yep. everybody? Yep. Brian yep. was right. And that's when you get it. When you lose it I up to gangrene here. Gangrene in my arm. Uh huh. Not good. Not fun. Well, that's now, what happens when you. Now, crash since you're talking the about truck. the shop, I'm probably gonna have to bother you now. I gotta get back to my shop, dude. Hey, I'm feeling. I gotta get back to my shop. I'm surprised he's mentioning this truck crash now. I honestly did think he was going to save it for Rogan. Part of me thought he was going to make it a, like a thing, a bit for Rogan. And do that whole fake laughing thing. Like, <laughs> like midway laughing thing that he does when he tells a story. Like, I thought he was going to save it for Rogan. But I guess, you know, they need some material. You got to get it back to your shop? I, I got some work to do. We're installing the, the supercharger, the wheel You're doing brakes. more for the truck. Ooh, this for the lighting, different truck. The different other truck's truck. out of commission, other, which other I'll truck. be able to talk the about truck. once insurance gets other truck. Out. Other truck might be in. Oh, there might be an insurance scam going on in it. So he crashed the TRX and I guess he's going through some sort of insurance thing. And I guess Lex, Lex, the guy that fired George, Brendan's beast of a business lawyer, probably told him, yo, shut your fucking mouth. Don't mention this on the show. Shut up. I'm going to sort this, but you can't fucking talk about it because I guess Lex knows if he does talk about it and his story is a bit iffy, the fans of the show, the TFAK people, they'll definitely clip it and send it to his insurance company or something. They definitely would do that. They definitely would fuck it over like that. Like, um, he's lying. You know what I mean? They would definitely would clip it, upload that on fucking streamable and send someone a link. So for once, Brendan actually listened to people smarter than him and, and he's... He still can't help himself not to mention it, though. That's the thing with Brendan. He's like, you know, he's just a fucking redact. He can't even help himself to not even mention it. But I guess the lawyer told him, hey, shut the fuck up, please. I can help you. We can get some money for this. We can be covered, but you have to shut up. So he crashed the car. Who would have known he would have crashed a fucking 1,000 horsepower plus fucking, you know, four-wheel drive car? Who would have known? Who would have guessed it? The guy that can just about drive his regular cars gets a fucking car that's been supercharged and now he crashes it. Who would have guessed that? Who would have guessed it? In the hospital right now. Getting just... Other truck might be six feet under. In truck And hospital. I probably should have been six feet under. Jesus yeah. Christ. You saw the video. I saw the video. Yeah. It's what happens though. You know? It's what happens. I feel like... In Imagine if Papa would have died. <laughs> Imagine if he would have died. <laughs> <laughs> that's TFAK over. Brian Cannon isn't doing shit. If Brendan dies, that's TFAK over. TFAK is done. That's never going anywhere. If Cannon died, Brendan could easily keep TFAK going. Brendan could easily keep it going. But if Brendan died and Brian had to like man the ship, that ship's going under. That's Titanic shit. It's over. It's a wrap. <laughs> They've uploaded episodes like the camera all fucking crooked. You know, misspelling words and shit. You have uploads of episodes on like a Sunday at 3 p.m. randomly. There's no way, no way, no way that podcast survives if Brendan's not around. It's not happening. It's not happening. If Brendan dies, that podcast is over. Fucking over.
<laughs> we all know it. We all fucking know it. <laughs> Yo, that podcast is over and that wife is starting an OnlyFans the next day. <laughs> If he died, that wife is starting an OnlyFans the next fucking day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, my God. And that subreddit will turn into just people posting links. <laughs> oh, shit, bro. He crashed a car. He crashed a TRX. Yeah. It's what happens, though. You know? It's what happens. I feel like insurance will be like, yeah, you got, you have a claim, though. I, I talked to him this morning. We're good. Yeah. Wow, he crashed it. Crazy, isn't it? But I guess the fact that he's being so sheepish about it um, is more an indication that it probably was something that he did wrong, isn't it? He fucked up. And being a true narcissist, he doesn't want to talk about it because he's a bit ashamed that obviously it was his fault. But then, of course, it's the insurance too. But for sure, he did something wrong. He definitely did something wrong. For sure. That's why it's not too... Because if it was something that happened to him and he was a hero, he'd be fucking whacking himself off talking about it. But clearly he did something really fucked up, you know? Really, really fucked up and he's ashamed about it and he doesn't want to speak about it. Or, or, or he's purposely saving this story for when he gets on Rogan. That could be also a thing. Maybe he's actually saving it for Rogan and Rogan will get the full details, maybe. But yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Brendan has crashed the TRX. The TRX is um, um, is fucking R.I.P. The TRX is R.R. fucking P. Oh, well, what can you do?